Alright, so today here we have got a new Tower of Disaster. Um, figured I might as well do a video on it since, I mean, it's here and it's content, so... Worlds are fairly good. Not as good as the regular Tower of Trials, but it is an easier version, so obviously loot drops are going to be reduced. Um, quickly built up the good old Reliable Team. Um, I was actually looking at it before, the actual stages and like the debuff you get. Absolutely no clue what Growth Trap does, but I figured it can't be too hard, right? Got the new the one um, picture, but I was figuring like, I probably won't record all the stages, but probably just like the, you know, the usual boss ones. Um, because yeah, like I show you guys in a second, I can imagine these early ones are going to be pretty easy. But no, this team, just like with the Arthur and the... Oh, auto was on. Yikes, my bad. But yeah, nah, we're probably just going to be getting that, like... Yeah, when Arthur's doing damage, you know it's easy. But no, Tower of Trials and the... Whatever this one's called, the Tower of... Gosh, I've already forgot his name. Um, Definitely one of the best PvE contents, especially since the last final boss... Um being Final Boss Eskinor was so bad, like, for how insanely scaled he was compared to the other ones, like, his loot drops were just nothing fancy, like, I'm pretty sure I only got the costume and, like, that was it, like, he just wasn't worth my time, like, there we go, it's the first one done. Just wasn't worth my time, like, putting in the effort to actually beat him and get, like, the usual rewards I could, like, so much faster and, like, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I probably should. I mean, I have the time, I have the stamina pots, there's no reason not to, but it just, it wasn't fun content, like, yeah, made plenty of people mad. Don't, not sure if anyone liked the final boss, but, I mean, it's there, so I guess we all have to do it. Um, we actually do have the new one as well, which I'll probably make a video on. Um, have absolutely no clue what teams to use and whatnot, but I can imagine we'll actually get the Valenti summons and Valenti showcase out first. I haven't recorded that, I'll actually probably do that soon. Let's see how much the... Since we're not on all this time, let's see how much the Roxy Pumpkin Bomb does. Here we go. But nah, crit damage... Oh, crit and damage Roxy is just insane, like... Definitely, like... Well, you can't summon for any more, but if you could, like... She's definitely a fun unit to run. Heaps of versatility since, like, or even just, like, heaps of creativity with the unit, because, like, you basically have to run a full heroes team. can imagine we're going to be getting through all these first ones like this. Um, the whole growth trap thing, really, I'm not sure if it's showing, but it doesn't look like it, so. Yeah, all the early rewards as well are going to be pretty terrible, but that's all right. Um, actually, wondering if the boss stages still drop these Super Awakening Coins. I hope they do. I feel like it's kind of shafted if they don't. Yeah, okay. Five? Uh, must, isn't it usually eight or ten? Damn, they're really giving us books, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's alright. Not going to be too much of a challenge anyway. Um, I'll actually skip to the Lily boss right here for you. Just so you don't have to watch these two. Okay, so we made it to tower, oh, fifth floor, um, not much difficulty at all, um, I was actually meant to say, I did end up recording the last one of these, the last tower of challenges, but I was really like, I don't know, it never, it obviously never got uploaded, but like, it just seemed like such boring content, like, not even the fact that like the tower was easy or anything, it was just like, it was more just a mental block of my own, like, I really just... I don't know, I guess I just wasn't in the mood. Like, obviously, you can only do the tower, like, once, so... One and done, you know. Can't re record it or anything. I don't have a second account or whatnot, but... Oh, damn, this one's heaps tankier. Like, even last time, like, stages weren't even holding up this well on, like, some of the final ones, so... Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, super keen to actually pump out a bunch of videos in the next couple days. Just need the paycheck to come in so I can hit the Valenti summons. I mean, I've actually almost grinded, well, 
bloody and grinded. I've almost gotten all of the gems free to play, which is rather surprising. Um, but the way JP's been looking, though, the fact that they've got, like, the... How have I forgot the name of it? The collaboration and, like, the lolly Merlin summons and whatnot. It looks like a lot of money's going to have to be spent. Oh, well, it is what it is. You love to see it. You know, I already built out, like, my Merlin set and built out two Valenti sets already. Not sure how I'm going to go for doing all of the... Gosh, I really can't think of the name of the collab. Um... I want to say... ReZero, yeah, that's it. Um, not too sure I'm going to go building, like, a set for Rem Ram and, like, all the other characters, because... Anvils are kind of lacking at the moment, but... That's alright, we'll figure something out. And just actually summoning for them and getting all of them, considering the rates are so bad. There we go, that wasn't too hard. First boss beat. Let's see. Oh, they actually do two back to... Is Eastern not actually classified as a boss? Oh, no, there's Valenti. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Um, yeah, okay, that's alright. Going to this next one. But nah, um, I was really confused about Valenti because, like, half the reason why I built two gear sets, actually. I have the attack and resistance one, which is, like, what I figured would be the best set. But heaps of people are saying, like, attack and defense or attack and crit damage is better. So, gonna try out both of those. Probably actually gonna do a video as well, comparing them, seeing what I like most. Let's just see. Mommy Roxy hit big damage. Oof. Not bad. Um, might actually skip on to the next two boss fights. Saves you just watching me one-tapping. Okay, getting onto the eastern stage. Um, I was only just thinking before. I mean, yeah, power creep does happen, but, like, how much of a cheat code the one assault for almost every activity you use him for, like... I know you could say the same about, like, this PvE Arthur, like, the green one I'm using, and, like... You know, Esteros is the same for PvE, but, like, I don't know. It just seems beyond me that, like, yeah, of course, we're global as well, and the pace we're going at is, like, insane, but I don't know. What I Actually, now thinking about it, I wonder what two years is going to be like, because, I mean, it's destined to happen, like, surely by then we get a Purgatory Bomb, like, that's the only thing I want at the moment. Surely for, like... When we catch up to JP, there's like a celebration and we get a festival or something. I mean, we did get a global first, actually. Never thought I'd see that. I mean, Orc and Oslo wasn't much. I mean, they're on JP now as well, and they weren't really surprised with it. Banging out East in there. Good job, Eskinal. Go on to the next one. These things, these fully awakened tokens are so useless in my opinion. I mean, yeah, I do have, like, I'm sure everyone at this point has stacks upon stacks of, um, like, materials and whatnot. Like, to early characters, sure, it'd be great, but, well, to early players, but, it's still seen as such, like, a end game reward. That's actually good, they're putting it pretty early on this tower. Um, I wasn't even paying attention just then, who are we versing? Ooh, Roxy. Queen of Explosions. I was actually really looking forward to using this Roxy and like the Festival King team when he came out, but by the time he came out on Global, you know, it was, everyone could see that he wasn't going to be meta for much longer, and of course, you don't want to have to build out a gear set for him and Hendrickson just for him to be viable, so ended up scrapping that. I still have the Crit King, uh, the Attack and Crit. King gear set built out, even like two pieces of it you are like the orb and the belt or something. So I mean if I ever do actually end up playing Festival King, maybe we could do that. It's probably not the most interesting. Now there's this Roxy really, along with Ursing. That should be done. There we go. Gosh, what a great victory screen. 
Love those Super Awakening coins. It was actually only the other day, like the day before, like it was teased that Valentia was going to be on Tuesday and whatnot. I spent like 15 pen uh, pendants and I was super panicking because like I had zero like Awakening coins, zero pendants or anything, but luckily they gave us heaps of like events and stuff, so luckily got all those back. Um, yeah, super pumped to do the ungeared video as well. Hey, look at guys from the Anvil stage. Also, speaking of the Anvil stage, oh my god is it tedious. Like, I have three or four of them lying around and I was meant to punch them out this afternoon, but by the time I got home and I was just not up for that, like, I probably try to end up getting one, maybe two of them out tomorrow, but very unlikely. And, I mean, I don't really, like, well, I keep up with the units, obviously, on JP, but, like, I don't keep up to date with, like, the updates and stuff, but I saw they had, like, a Super Awakening stage for, like, the Anvil, like, Hourglass. Only open for 30 minutes, which seems like, you know, I've looked at the drops and stuff because I was actually fairly interested in it, and they only get, like, one per retry, so, like, even if that's, like, two minutes, like... I don't know if it's better than the anvils, because, like, building a gear set is, like, infinitely better than Super Awakening one unit, because, like, gear sets can be swapped forever, like, yeah, sure, I built a UR gear set for melee when Blue Demon melee was the best unit, but look, I've used it on Lost Vein, I've used it on Assault Mode, I've used it on heaps of melees, now I even have a second one that's HP crit and whatnot, but, like, I don't know, it just seems like they're probably, well, I haven't even looked at it, so I may be completely wrong, but they're just gonna have to buff it to make it actually, like, compare well. I know, I might sound crazy I, if some of you have actually played it. Here we go. I mean, yeah, these stages really aren't holding up any better than the last Super Boss. Super Boss? Tower of Trials. I mean, I actually remember doing my first Tower of Trials and it being super difficult, like some of the most fun I've had on Grand Cross PvE to this day. And like the second one was even more fun. I was like a bit more prepared for it. Like, you know, we'd had the previous one and like I'd built up Asterosa for it and whatnot. And I still only got to 24, but like the second I started putting money into the game, like granted, I do spend a little bit, um, it just got so much easier to the point where, like, I know we're in the, in the early stages at the moment, like, obviously, maybe the evil Lilia might be insanely stupid and I might have to change teams or something, but, like, it is just so much easier nowadays, and, like, I look at some of my friends' account who, like, get up to, like, some of the final stages and it's, like, super fun and interesting content watching them, like, maybe not for them because they're, like, uh, why do I have to keep rerunning the stage, but, like, to me, that's kind of like, I don't get to do that anymore. I suppose that's why we have PvP, so. They really do need to add the option. I mean, I know you can just surrender twice to not get into Challenger, but I don't know. Makes the win rate look bad. There we go. After this turn, actually, I might skip on to the next boss. I haven't even actually been paying attention. I've just been rambling. Yeah, there we go. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so it turns out I'd actually only be gone for two seconds. Well, two seconds in my time, obviously. Because um, we were already at the next boss stage. Um, Valenti and then Shin, so. Ooh. Pretty cool lads. Oh, damn, we've even got animations. Oh. <laughs> Never mind what I just said. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that was fresh. Holy crap. Yes, we got the Roxy AoE as well. Also, good to see, um, logging in yesterday that, uh, the, what's her name? Netmarble is doing a kind of like, y'all know what I'm talking about. They're doing the, like, feedback thing. Um, haven't actually done mine yet, but really looking forward to that to see, like, if they maybe actually do implement anything that, like, or if they do a news, like, if they, like, say what, like, their most common feedback was and whatnot. I mean, 
surely there's going to be like half the people being like, uh, free gems going too fast. And if they do it even better, but so I feel like, especially for this collab and like the rates, heaps of people are going to want to summon for it. And if like seven deadly can post on like their social medias and whatnot, and like do ads that they're giving away like 10 free multis for like a re-zero collab, despite the fact they'll be reeling in less money probably from like, you know, people won't be doing like paying for their 10 multis. It'll probably be beneficial for them, in all honesty, like, it's a big anime, obviously, and, like, pretty mainstream? Well, yeah, it's mainstream. But, nah, that'll probably be their best option, but doubt they'll do it. Lots of doubt there. Also, with this background coming up, um, no, oh, and the stage, obviously, with the enemies, um, they're not doing, like, the grinding thing anymore. Now we used to have the thing, like, now we only have the three bosses, but you used to have to actually grind for them. I mean, obviously everyone realized that now we have gold farming and whatnot. It's no real point, but it's actually kind of good to see that. I mean, for early character, like, players, you probably want, like, all those materials in the one spot. You had, like, the books, the grails, and whatnot, but now for, like, later game players, it's just you can instantly go into the boss fights. Game Machine is just getting rocked right now. Yep, and that's just about done. Also, wondering, should I probably build a Game Machine insert? Because, like, I use him plenty for farming, and, like, he's gonna, obviously, he is one of the best units for gold farming. I feel like it might be a good idea. Damn. Would you look at that? Here we go, some more Super Awakening coins. See what the next couple stages look like. If the game wants to load. Um, speaking of bad loading times. Um, ooh, actually, alright. Um, my biggest problem with Seven Deadly Sins, well not Seven Deadly Sins, but like, what even really is like the pro um, well, more than the fact that they just haven't got, like, a PC port yet, like, obviously the game's gonna look terrible, because, like, it is running through an emulator, and, like, I don't play, like, 60 to 80% of the players are on phone, like, it's not really affecting them, but, like, almost any YouTube you watch, like, people who are, like, getting Seven Deadly out there and, like, recording the videos for people to see play on PC and, like, record their content on PC, and, like, it just doesn't look as good, like, I have a fairly decent computer at the moment, like, all my settings are, like, pumped up to the max, and, like, it still looks choppy, like, especially in some of the menus and, like, loading screens, it can look terrible, and, like, I mean, we don't even know if they ever will give us a PC port or, like, how they'll do it, because, like, I'm pretty sure they're fairly alright with, like, the emulator being used and whatnot, but, yeah, who knows, because they did have that one time on... JP where everyone had to like do summons on their phone because emulators were down but they got fixed so like obviously they care about you know the emulators being used and like PC players playing but where's our port you know like I want to be able to run like 4k 7 deadly if that's an option you know I don't know just like my thought that's like I mean this is my favorite gacha game of all time and like I'll almost always be positive towards the game, but like, well, in all honesty, like, I'll obviously say things might be a bad decision, but like, that's like probably the biggest problem I have with the game so far, like, and I know it doesn't seem like a big one, and that's, well, exactly right, like, they're doing good, but, I don't know, I just want my PC port. Maybe I might just suck it up and start recording on phone. Gosh, those sound, sound effects are terrible. <laughs> yeah, there really isn't scaling much with, like, these higher levels. It's just getting tankier, because, like, look at that. We're on stage, like, 15 now, and we're still patienting. Damn, maybe my team's just built different. Look at that. Five hundred thousand gold. 
really wishing there was an actual way to like use your well obviously most people just use their gold towards gear garcha so like it's just such a slow and painful process to watch the rolls like to watch the chest just like re-spin itself over and over again like i was on the bus the other day and like had my phone just chilling on my lap doing it and i picked it up like ages like once i got to my destination and like only used like twenty thousand gold like it takes forever and oh hello and like your rewards just fill up so quickly like now obviously i do hold a lot of stuff but i still have maxed out space and like try to keep everything fairly organized but it just doesn't happen fills up so quickly and then you just get all this random gear and i mean we all really just do it for the anvils like they really both have revive gosh Let's see, will they still patience us? Oh no, actually doing damage now. Well, one of them did. Hmm. Might actually get a fi uh, difficult final fight. Oh, and they're healing? Damn, chill out. I don't know why I actually decided to target people. Maybe I'm scared. Please one tap. Hey, let's go. And another one. Ooh, damn. What a fun unit. Remember when Green Eskinol was reeling people into the game? I mean, Nagato Grand Cross probably being like the biggest example of that. Started playing on the release of JP Green Eskinol. Gosh, that actually means I've been playing for longer than him. I haven't played since day one of the JP version, but. I played since week one, probably like day three or four. Um, played for a fair bit. I remember, I think I quit near Father's Day. The Galland Banner was one of the final ones I summoned on. I actually got him first multi. I remember that fairly clearly. But I um, do still have my JP account, but it's like horrid. Like you could play for like a week with like the stuff they give out in JP now. And like still be heaps better like it is ass, but it's it's there <laughs> it's got history wonder if maybe i should try and start playing jp again or maybe even build up like a second global account actually probably be better doing a jp one just having it on the computer actually didn't even notice we're in one of the boss fights at the moment fleets cards that's Damn, okay. Got our first death. Oh, I was going to say in all honesty, that was good. Hey, card's back. Um, Does Mono get one tap too? I'm not even going to look at the HP, just going to send it. <laughs> Gosh, I hope we're not in the 20s already. Almost 100,000 life steal. Five UR stones. I think I'm holding on to like 60, 70 of those at the moment. Really just like, yeah, anvils really are just the one thing holding me back, but I could grind them on auto, but just I almost got like twice the amount when, you know, on 20, so that means we only got five more. Um, I get like almost twice the amount doing it, like actually doing it. So because they're such a prized possession, I really don't want to waste that time. It's just annoying, tedious. Another thing that's also tedious, daily demons. They need to add the ability, like I'm pretty sure they've got it on JP now, but you can invite AI on hell, but even, oh, we actually have proper animations now. Figured I'd just let that one play out since it was actually working as intended. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Jeez, I've fully forgotten now. Oh yeah, um, Hell Raids. Even though you can invite, like, your friend's AI, the gear still attaches to the units they have, like, it attached to. So, like, half the time, the units don't even have gear. Like, you need to be able to preset what your, like, AI units are like, if you get what I mean. I know, it just seems silly. Because, like, I'm sure everyone does their demons daily, because, like, it's 
one of the only ways to get cosmetic upgrades. No one really does it for the mats anymore, but it's just so tedious. Like, you can be sitting there for, like, obviously, like, anywhere under a minute to, like, I think the longest I've had is, like, six minutes just inviting and inviting and inviting, but, like, obviously, that's why Netmarble's taking suggestions in order to make the game better. I mean, with beating this boss here, I think I might just skip to the final two. Okay, so final two stages. We got normal Lilia and evil mage Lilia. Um, let's see what she's got. See if there's actually anything interesting for the fight. Doesn't look like it. Um, if you're wondering how the last three went, could not tell you. Um, I just put all auto, uh, put all of them on auto and was messaging other people. So that's all right. Hopefully the difficulty is scaled. A bunch whilst I was gone. Damn, she got that eyeliner on. Um, and we end up getting destroyed here. Terrible draw. Might happen. Um, what do I want to do here? Oh, as you can see, it orders on. Um, here we go. I think we just start off with this for the moment. Nah, also, um, I'm not sure, I was super confused about this. I'm not sure if I just missed the Lilia costume being out or if she's only out in like this hawk scrap shop or whatever because I was hoping that like maybe Eskinor costume would stay out for longer and I could buy both, but I can imagine that's not going to be the case. Um, no, nah, because like it's rather expensive, like 950 I think it is, Um, you know, coins each for them, so like each piece and... Almost got the third piece now, but like, hoping I don't get to miss out on like the pirate-esque do-rag Escanor skin. It's pretty cool. I mean, I already have all the costumes maxed out. I kind of just be for show, but that's all right. Um, yeah, no, the Lilia boss fight definitely was a lot easier than I expected. There we go. Look at how cool that Escanor ride is. Wonder if this will actually stay for more, cause like. It came out yesterday, which for me was the 31st, but today's actually April 1st and still around, so here we go. Evil Mummy Lilia. Hot damn. And another cutscene that actually works. Also, like being able to go first on all these. Um. Only we pulled Escanor cards. Actually, I feel like if we had Escanor and like green go through and like, I don't know, I reckon if we set this up properly, we could get like an easy two turn. God damn, no way are we better kill. Screw the two turn. Yeah, gosh, look at that. Well, anyways, um, so I guess that's the Tower of Disaster done. Anyway, so I guess that around about does it for the Tower of Disaster. Um, completely clapped all of them. Um, fairly easy content. Hoping you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. Um, hoping to see you guys again for the Valenti showcases and summoning videos. And I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.